Oh, this job, I'm loving it. It was the best thing I've ever done. I should have done it 10 years ago. We're all here pretty much for the same reasons. You know, to bring home a decent paycheck, be able to take care of our kids. Financially, it's allowed me to be completely independent. It's a hard job. You work hard for your money. You get, you get paid what you're worth. Oh, God, being a plumber is probably the best thing that's happened to me. Um, I now have a job that pays substantially well. And if, you know, if you're a single mom, it's a good way to support your kids, you know? You have good benefits, you have good insurance. It's the American way, it's a good way to make a living. Everybody in Cleveland, no matter if if they're women, minorities, whatever ethnic group, whatever their background or orientation, they deserve the right and the ability to do the job they want to do. Construction is no different. If you're talking about economic development, you've got to be all-inclusive. Cleveland is a very diverse city. We have more women in the workforce now. We have more women that are going into uh, the skilled trades. We have more women that are becoming uh, engineers and architects. We are a diverse society, and if you don't see that in every aspect of life, then you're cutting yourself short. Well, personally, I think it's important for everyone to have an opportunity to participate because uh, what it does is if you can lift a part of our community in terms of their economic potential, then you can lift the whole community. It's about economic inclusion and everybody having a tool to support themselves and their neighborhood. When people are working, when their businesses are thriving, they are paying taxes to the region. When taxes are being paid, taxes support the school systems. When businesses are looking to move into this community, they look at the school systems. Well, for the region, obviously, it, it, it creates an environment where uh, we're going to be stronger, we're going to be more sophisticated, um, you know, to bring all those different experiences and perspectives into this culture, I think it's going to be enormous in terms of moving us forward uh, as a city and as a region. We have such a unique opportunity right now to, you know, essentially change people's lives. In our expansion projects, diversity is a particular focus for us because we really believe that it will support us not only in the bottom line, but it helps them support the city of Cleveland. You know, high tide causes all the ships to rise, and so when we have a more active workforce that reflects the diverse communities that we serve and that the city of Cleveland spent particularly, then it supports the whole city to do well. So we just feel that in a community, uh, it is important to make sure that um, the workforces and the vendors that are used or contractors that are used on projects are representative of the community that we live in. When you have a focus on diversity and inclusion, uh, what it does is it, it, it has an incentive with, among your workforce. It makes them more excited about what they're doing. It makes other, others in the community more excited about what you're doing. There's an appreciation for organizations that have a focus on diversity and inclusion. It is very important that organizations such as Hard Hatted Women uh, are involved in the construction industry because women need a place to identify with and know where to go to get answers uh, to questions they may have about how they can participate in the industry. And so I think the uh, mission of Hard Hatted Women is very important to the construction industry. Nobody had told me that something like this could be available to a woman. I actually got lucky. They happened to run an ad, Hard Handed Women had run an ad in the local paper, and my mom had seen it and said, oh girl, you're so good with your hands and, and you're not afraid to, to climb into things. She says, maybe you should check this out. Well, Hard Handed Women uh, has been a blessing to Greater Cleveland because you have given women hope when there was no hope. There is a team, there's a family there for them to lean on when the times get rough. And so uh, that makes all the difference in the world.
particularly when you're getting into an industry like the construction industry. And it makes the opportunities for, for women much greater when men see us on the job and they respect us as women and they respect us as their equals. There is such a sense of satisfaction uh, w looking at people working together to achieve a common goal of creating a beautiful project like the Art Museum and I think that that, that kind of satisfaction helps uh, revitalize the community. It's good for women now in, in the trades. Uh, there is a place for us. I think everybody deserves the opportunity to try. You know, you should be given that day to prove yourself. You know, even if they only give you one day, you know, that's enough to prove yourself. All people are capable. All people want opportunities to work. We have women in all positions of responsibility, and that's important. Uh, it's definitely important for everyone to have an opportunity. You have to have an opportunity to live. Quality of life is very important. You can't take away someone's right to take care of their family. So it's, it's very important that women have high-paying jobs because it makes our kids better people.